This etude is based on an operatic melody by Daniel Auber, a French composer who wrote operas in the mid-1800s. The style should be light and playful throughout. Strive to bring out the contrast between staccatos and slurs. When grace notes appear, they should be played right before the beat. In measure 12, hold the fermata for two to three beats, then feel the next six notes as a pickup into measure 13. Measure 15 contains an octave grace note leap, played right before the first beat. To help prepare for this, practice octave glissandos, taking care to maintain an even vibration from the bottom to the top note. This exercise can be done on the mouthpiece and the horn. When you've achieved more comfort there, use the low G as a springboard to the high G. Notice the 32nd notes at the end of bar 15. Try vocalizing these as supercalifragilistic. That's eight syllables, all in one beat. You might have some room to relax the pace of those 32nd notes just prior to the fermata. In measures 17 and 18 and 21 through 22, Lean into the chromatic quarter notes, then taper the last eighth note for more shape and elegance. In measure 28, begin on the written note and trill to the note directly above, according to the key signature. The first two trills are whole step trills and performed as lip trills. The fingerings for these two trills are G to A on the F horn, one and three or one and two, and C to D on the F horn open. The third trill is a half step trill from E to F and that is gonna be fingered as thumb two to thumb open on the B flat horn. In your practice, begin learning measure 28 without the trills and grace notes while still observing the retardando. This will help establish the pulse, pacing, and tempo, which are all critical when adding the trills. Here's a quick demo to help build your trill technique.
In measure 33, the leggero marking should bring about a much lighter approach. Keep the staccato short, but maintain resonance. Be mindful of the articulation in measures 45 and 46, and refine the big leap between the measures by practicing glissandos. In measures 50 and 52, be sure to blow through the downward slurs. Finish with a strong sense of syncopation and a colorful fortissimo in the final two measures.